Hey everybody, it's Mary. Welcome back to the kitchen. We are going to be doing another variation of the tomato jam. Okay, we have our little scrape of tomato there wanting to hang in in there. Okay. I have my spices. I have salt, cumin, smoked paprika, and red pepper flakes. I will write the, all this down for you folks and put it in the uh, description box so don't worry about trying to get the uh, amounts. Okay. I have brown sugar. Now folks, I ran out of brown sugar and I had to uh, substitute for this. I have white sugar mixed with molasses. Pure and simple. That's what brown sugar is anyway. Okay. Get all that off there. apple cider vinegar, and I have my fresh ginger. It only calls for fresh, but this is what you buy in the uh, vegetable section at Walmart in the uh, refrigerator. Okay, I'm gonna mix all this together. Now folks, this is gonna have to cook for at least two hours, okay? So once you get it up to a boil, you reduce the temperature and let it simmer until it gets good and thick. I'll show you what it looks like a little bit later on. Okay. This pot of jam has really cooked down well. It's thickened up a lot. It's like the consistency of a tomato sauce with a few chunks in it. But folks, this is going to be a breakfast jam. Okay, I really don't want chunks in there. So I've got my immersion blender. I'm gonna blend it and we're gonna get rid of those. And guys, that was in real time. It took quite like a minute or so. I got the majority of everything out. Yeah, I still gonna have a little bit in there. I'm not a professional and I didn't chunk up everything, but that looks like a pretty good consistency to me. So I'm gonna set this over here and I want to keep it warm and I'm going to get my jars ready. I need to get them in hot water. I need to get my water bath canner started because this is hot and uh, the jars will be hot. So the canner needs to be hot. Otherwise, we're going to have some thermal shock and we're going to have breakage. Alrighty, I've let this cook down just a little bit longer. And it's thickened up and folks it will thicken up more as I water bath it so I'm going to take one of my jars that I've had in the warm water and put my funnel in there we're gonna ladle it in here <clears throat> and I don't know about you but I always grab a jar and put the funnel over into the next jar that way I don't drop it everywhere I'm going to wipe my rim off. I'm going to put a lid on there, folks. As you notice, they're not soaked like they used to be. Okay, that it's only finger tight on there. Okay. I'm putting it into my water bath canner that has uh, the water to a really good temperature in there. It's not boiling because I want to wait until I have everything done before I bring it up to a uh, boil. We set this over here and we wipe it off. Put the uh, lid on here finger tight. Don't cross thread it. Put it in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead until I get this, the rest of this done. Then I'm going to water bath it for 10 minutes. 
and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, folks, I just took the jam out of the canner and we have absolutely fantastic tomato jam. Give me a thumbs up on the video, like it, share it with your friend, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.